today we're going to be talking about retinal claudication. And even though it's a retina symptom, it's a super important symptom to know in neurop because it represents a transient ischemic attack at the level of the retinal photoreceptor. So we can test for retinal dysfunction in the macula with a macular photo stress test. So you shine the light in the person's eye, and normally the photoreceptors need time to regenerate because the light has taken up all their photoreceptive transduction elements, and so they need about 15 to 30 seconds to recover. So if you shine the light in someone and they lose three lines of vision and they don't get it back for a minute or so or more, that is a positive macular photo stress test. When would you use this? Well, if they obviously have a macular lesion like macular degeneration, you, you don't need it. It's when the fundus looks normal that you need the macular photo stress test to try and differentiate, is this a retinal problem or is it an optic nerve problem? Because optic nerve doesn't really care whether it's day or night or what the lighting conditions are. Only photoreceptors care about that. And so when you have retinal claudication, it's just like limb claudication or jaw claudication. That claudication means decrement in function caused by use. So if you use your jaw chewing your food and then you get the pain, or limb claudication, you're walking and then you get the pain, that limb or jaw claudication is an ischemia sign. So the use of the organ causes the pain and dysfunction. And that's the same thing with retinal dis claudication. If the light hits your eye and you have prolonged photo recovery, the light hit my eye, I was I'm blinded by the light for like three minutes or 10 minutes or 20 minutes, that suggests you have poor blood flow and ischemia for the retinal metabolism to recover. And that symptom is called retinal claudication. So we've got to do the regular stroke workup, but it's highly suggestive that you have hemodynamically significant ipsilateral carotid occlusive disease. So you need to know a little bit about claudication and retinal claudication.